ordinary human. The next, the next level of station and status of a human being is to be a believer. Mumin. Aam insan, usme kafir bhi hota hai, musalman bhi hota hai, dahriya bhi hota hai, mushrik bhi hota hai, kafir bhi hota hai, hindu bhi hota hai, he is a christian, he is a jew, many religions, but the one that is accepted in the divine court of Allah is a believer, mu'min. The rest are of no value. First is the human, arm insan. Then you get a believer. There is a station now above that. To be a Muslim, to be a believer, and then the station above that is to be a pious Muslim. <coughs> to be a pious, a muttaqi hona. Ek muttaqi, you have uh, one who's got taqwa in him, but there are different levels of taqwa. When you say he is a pious man, how pious? There are many pious people sitting here. Now in the station of piety, there is another station above that. That station is known as a wali. Allah says in the Holy Quran, Khalaqal insana min salsal. Insan, human being. Mu'min, a believer. Ya ayu al-lazina amanu. Those who believe. Then he speaks about taqwa. Inna akramakum inda Allahi atqaakum. Quran. Inna, in, inna akramakum inda Allahi atqaakum. You will be gauged in accordance to your piety in the court of Allah. Right? One above that is known as a wali. And Allah says in the Quran, Ala inna awliya Allahi la khawfun alayhim wa la hum ya'zanun. A word, a separate word is used in the Holy Quran to discuss every different stage and status of the human. Ye aadmi ke darajat ka zikr Quran mein aaya hai aur har darje ka alag lafz istamal kiya hai. This is the qudrat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now you find that amongst the awliya there is another group. What's that group? وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ الَّذِينَ قُتِلُوا فِي سَبِيلِ اللَّهِ أَمْوَاتِ And do not even imagine ذہن اور خیال میں بھی یہ لفظ یہ یہ چیز مت لائیے کہ جو اللہ کے راہ میں قتل کیے گئے ہیں وہ مردے ہیں بَلْ اَحْيَاؤُمْ بَدْدَيَا أَلَائِفْ ایک شہید کا مرتبہ The station of a martyr in Islam Nishohada. Now you carry on. There is a stage above the Shohada. Now the stage above the Shohada is a Mujtahid. Who is a Mujtahid? A Mujtahid is that individual who goes into the details of the Qur'an and the hadith of the beloved Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam and devises a way to practice it. And if a mujtahid hears that a certain person, he is in the east and a certain person in the far west knows one hadith that he doesn't go, no, he will travel to get that hadith of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam. A mujtahid like Sayyidina Imam Al-A'zam, Imam Abu Hanifa radhi Allah ta'ala. It's a mujtahid. Imam Al-Muttalibi, Sayyidina Imam Al-Shafi'i radhi Allah ta'ala. He's a mujtahid. 
The great Imam Malik ibn Anas radiyallahu ta'ala an O Sayyidina Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal These are mujtahids The Imams, the four Imams are mujtahid Very big darja and maqam Now among the mujtahid there is one darja above that One maqam above that That maqam is known as the maqam of the awtad <coughs> Who are the awtad? Awtad kon hote hai? This is an elite group of the awtad. They are four at any given time on this earth. Any time you look at any period or any era, there will be four awtad. And the four awtad will be like the four pegs of this physical universe. Admi shamiyana lagata hai. Shamiyana ke jab char kone me mekhe nahi laga hai, gir jayega. If you don't put four pegs on a tent, the tent will not survive. If there is a wind that will gust, it will blow it away. But if it's pegged from four sides, it will remain intact. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has pegged this earth with four awtad. High ranking awliya Allah that will hold it down. These are the pillars and known as also mainstays, an expression for four men whose stations are the four corners of the world. Char kone me, ye char autad Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ne hune waha mahmur kardiya rakhiya wa apne kaam me mashhul rehte. East, West, South, North. Four directions, four outad. They are known as the mainstays or the pillars of this physical universe. Outad is the name, don't forget that. Above the outad there is another maqam. There is another station higher than that which is the station of the abdal. The abdal are those elite servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that are the statesmen in the spiritual kingdom of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You, you get a physical uh, parliament like you get the prime minister or the president, the prime minister, and under the prime minister you get the ministers, and under the ministers you get the office in charge. And under them you get another, you see these stations, these are darajat. The station of a clerk in an office is not equivalent to the status of the president of the country. Cannot compare it. He has his protocol and this man has his protocol. For that matter, you cannot say, I am like the president of this country. He's mad. How can he compare himself to the president of the country? Or for that matter, how can he compare himself to a minister of a country? It's impossible. Similarly, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that controls this entire universe has placed his deputies he selects his servants like the Anbiya are deputies of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And then you find in the Anbiya, the Sahaba are deputies of the Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Now these are lower in rank to the higher in rank. And these are known, one of, the, one of the personalities in the spiritual kingdom is known as the Abdal. There are 40 of them. At any given time, ye 40 se kam nahi hoge. Ek us mein intakal hoga, foran usko badal diya jata hai. Uske jage pe dusra mukarrar kar diya jata hai. Another is instated in his place. 
I don't have the time to divulge in this and tell you all about it. All you have to know is that they are replaced immediately and there are 40 and according to the hadith of the beloved Habib sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, hadith narrated by Sayyidina Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali al-Murtuza karramallahu ta'ala wajhu al-kareem, the 40 of them are stationed in Sham, Syria, today in modern Syria, Sham, they are stated, they are stationed in Sham and but though they are stationed in Sham but they move around under spiritual supervision in every corner of the earth ye aan ke aan mein yahan hai uske baad fir hindustan mein aan ke aan mein yahan they are here at this moment and in a split at the moment they are in russia or they are in iceland or they are in uh, australia or america wherever but they do have they do have a set direction on each day that they travel according to divine command by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they travel they travel all over the world and for your information unki sawari bhi ajeeb hoti hai rozana ek sawari pe sawar nahi hote kabhi hawa pe sawar hote kabhi aag pe sawar hote kabhi sher par sawar hote sometimes they travel on a or sometimes they travel on fire, sometimes they travel on a lion, sometimes they're on a horse. Every day is a different carrier that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives them and they carry on with the, 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 the divine commands of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Above the station of the Abdal, there is another group, another elite group, which is known as the group of the Qutub. The Qutub is a hierarchy and a very high position. <coughs> now there is a maqam, the Qutub, he is in charge of every, every major city, I would say, or every major town, or every major country, as divided by the command of Allah, areas, each area has a Qutub. You may, you may not know them. It's not necessary that you know them. And in most cases you don't know them. Because it's a spiritual kingdom and he, he is an appointed elite servant of Allah who is in a spiritual world. Therefore a spirit is always hidden. <coughs> he will not be known. Sometimes they become known. But most of the times they are not, not known. Above the station of a Qutub is the station of the Qutbul Aqtab. Senior Awliya, the Qutub, they all are under one command. The chief, many ministers in the, in the, in the parliament. Minister of Agriculture, Minister of Finance, Minister of Economics, Minister of Waterworks, Minister of Sports and Recreation, Minister of whatever you have. But they all are under the command of the Prime Minister. So the Prime Minister in the Aqtab or the Qutb fraternity is known as the Qutbul Aqtab, the Senior Qutb. That is one maqam and one station above. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Good. The eleventh station above the Qutbul Aqtab, senior wali of Allah, is the station of the Ghaus. The Ghaus is a very elite servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who is known as the pole or the help of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By Allah's command, He assists the people and the things around in this physical universe is under the command of the Ghaus. He is the hidden high, he is the hidden center of the hierarchy of saints. The hierarchy of saints, He is the hidden center. And He is a summit of spiritual evolution.